is the randomly selected member of our studio audience. Give it up for Swedish magician Tom Stone. Oh, Adrian, come. So you've been picked from the audience uh, to join me here? Yes, I am. And Anison, I need someone on this side as well. Do you think you can? Sure. Wonderful. I have. Oh, um, um, I have. Um, I have a box. This is my box. I know this is my box because I marked it with a red uh, diamond. And uh, you, you can pull out the drawer and okay. examine it. See, so there's no trap doors or mirrors or anything like that. Okay. And you can feel inside. Do you feel anything that sort of? No. 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 Hmm? Huh? So this is my box, the red one. But I have some other boxes as well. So we have three boxes and we are three people. So and I have one arm to little. Yes. We have a blue one, if you pull out that and examine that one, and you can feel inside. Yes. Nothing. Nothing. So Alison, the blue box is yours. Okay. So which color is yours? Blue. Yes. And uh, Adrian? Your will be the green one. Okay. And you're also going to pick a card. One moment. I have a deck of cards here, and uh, before you pick a card, I first must first show the audience that all the cards are different because, for some reason, people don't trust me. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a bunch of cards here. Okay. Yes. And just take any one. Take one. Okay. okay. Can I look and at it. Take a look at it, and you can show it to, to the audience, but not to me. Okay. I've placed it face down in the box, because you're going to hold uh, all this behind your back like that. Huh? Perfect. You have hold the green box behind your back. You're also going to pick something, but uh, for you, we pick a page out of a book. Okay. So I will riffle through the book like this and you just say stop somewhere. Okay. Okay? Stop. There? Do you think you can remember the page number? I'll try. Okay. Okay, perfect. And if you open the box? So this is behind your back as well. Perfect. Oh, I have a box. And this is my box, and we know this is mine because it has a red diamond. But if I were to cover that up like this, now it's more difficult to know whose box this is. Whose box is this? <laughs> whose box is this? Yours. How do you know? Because you're holding it. Yeah, but you cannot see. I mean, it could, it could be any color underneath here. It could be red, uh, it could be green. If it was green, what would be inside? A uh, deck of cards. A deck of cards. Like this. And here's a loose card. And what card did you pick? Five. Diamonds. Five of clubs? Clubs, clubs. Wow. Mm. I will keep a small uh, memory of this. Mm. Like that. For later. Whose box is this? So How do you know? It could be any color on these here. It could be uh, red, green, or even blue. If it was blue, what would be inside? A book. <laughs> you picked the page. Do you remember which page number? Yes, 260. 260. And here we have 59 and 60, yes. I will do the same way. I will keep a small memory of this part as well, like that. So. <laughs> Whose box is this? <laughs> Whose box? We, we better check. Oh, look, it's my box. It's the one that have been empty the whole time. Wow. Pick up the car.
Okay. We have a small piece here. And do you think you can face to the audience? Yes? And like that? Take the book. Work. And you looked at the page uh, 260, right? Me? Yes. Okay. Two. It's not there. Thank you. Uh, Is it hard to perform in front of Penn and Teller? Uh, well, uh, I don't have my glasses, so I don't actually see them. Oh! <laughs> so where did you grow up? I grew up on a small farm on the west coast of Sweden. Ooh! Yeah. Did you have animals? Uh, like we that had, kind of farm? yeah, we had cows, uh, uh, chickens, pigs, oh. all sorts of uh, animals. Did that influence your magic? Uh, well, it, it influenced me to get away from it as quickly as possible. <laughs> Make them disappear. Yes, yes. How do you know when a trick is ready? It sort of speaks to me. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it, it's... Um, like, how do you know that the song is ready or, or play is ready? You, you, at some point, you just know that this is... Now it's complete. All right, yes. well, let's see if Penn and Teller know the ins and outs of your trick. Penn, tell her. Oh, Tom, uh, I gotta tell you, you know, uh, you do something that might be considered stupid for someone who's coming on this show, but uh, you actually uh, outsmarted us on it, and that is you send Teller your books. When your books come out, you send it to him, and he reads them. And then you come on the show. That would seem like a foolish thing to do, and then you come on the show and do a trick that's not in your books. Very smart, <laughs> very smart. It's just, it's just fabulous. And what's really, really smart about it is the, um, the dirty work that you have to do is done um, at a time that everybody's completely relaxed. You know, it's done so at such an offbeat that it's really terrific. The one piece of dirty work that is so, so smart in this is done, is done so early on. It's just terrific. Um, a whole new way to look at drawer boxes, fabulously done. Now, I've got to explain something here, Allison, about how the show works. Um, Finally. Uh, yes. <laughs> this is one of the most complex routines we've had on here. And while you're talking to him, Teller and I are scribbling and talking furiously. We have microphones on, and there's Mike Close, uh, who's in, who's in the uh, truck, listening to everything we say. Now, when we talk to each other, we're talking in very blunt, magical terms that we would never want to say here because it would hurt your routine. There are so many things in this that um, we can't think of codes in that amount of time. So I'm going to ask you, Allison, because Allison also is on mic and is an earpiece, to just go to the judge. We don't even know because we said so much stuff and they've been taking notes too. Uh, did we say enough in the intricacies as we went through this with our notes that they think um, that we were fooled? And Allison, we are also on the edge of our seats and we're willing to go with what the judges say. We hope that Tom will too, because I don't know if we got enough. I, I think we, I don't know, I, we hope so. Okay, the judges are talking to me right now. Mm -hmm. And their decision is Tom Stone. You did not fool them, but you were amazing. You're great, Tom. Oh.